All right, I'm gonna show you how to make something radio controlled really easily for like 10 or $20. Now I've got my little Escalade here and I went to the store and bought this for, I think this one was $20 and I have another thing over there that was 10. Um, <clears throat> when you go to the store and you look for something that you wanna steal the uh, radio control electronics out of, first look at the box and then uh, you can see what batteries the the vehicle takes and that'll give you an idea of what size motors are in it uh, this is useful if you're not planning to use the motors that come with it like I already have some motors that I'm building into my thing that I'm building here which is top secret and you can see it later but that's not the important part so I wanted to get um, radio control stuff that would match the voltage of my motors roughly so uh, my my motors can run on like three to six volts so I got a vehicle that takes four AA batteries. That's about six volts, <clears throat> roughly. So that should work. And I also got one with four and a half volts. That's the $12 one over there, or whatever it is. Um, so I can test them both. But <clears throat> so here's my thing that I got. And just to make sure everything's fully operational, you know, we give it a nice test. Oh, yay, great, everything works. And then I took out a few screws under here so you wouldn't have to like sit there watching me do it. And look, it's no longer an Escalade. And then there's another little screw down here I took out. In a nutshell, I took out just almost every screw in the thing. And now a lot of these radio control toys have like, just like everything is built into like a module, which is really convenient. Cause in this case, you just take a screw out, slide it a little bit, and the whole thing comes out really easily. And it's connected by some little plugs to the motors. So if you unplug those plugs, actually, I don't wanna break the plug connector, so I won't do that. Um, I'm actually just gonna cut the wires to the motor because I'm not using those motors. But, uh, in a nutshell, there you go. You have a, a fully compact little radio control receiver with the batteries and everything built in. And you hook these two wires up to a motor and that one will be controlled by it. And you hook these up to another motor and there you go. And if your machine happens to be like mine where you, you don't really want this, this big clump, you can take apart the rest of the screws and then put the batteries on one side and the electronics on the other side, for instance. Um, let me hook up a motor here just to show you how incredibly easy this is. Oh, not enough. So I take my wires and connect them to a different motor. I'm not soldering them right now, but of course it is much better to solder them. I'm just kind of jamming the wires into the little, whatever those things are called. Then we turn our thing on and here's our little radio control and oh look, isn't that great? So that's just a real cheap and easy way to radio controllerize your inventions and things without having to spend 50 or a hundred dollars on something with servos and you know then you have to get switches for the servos to to operate and stuff if you just want something that'll make motors move and you don't need a lot of fanciness just go to the store and spend like 10 or 20 dollars on a toy and yank it apart